Alright guys, so it's that time of year where Fortnite have given out a free refund request to everyone. It always happens every single year around October the 12th and you should have received a free refund token. And today I'm going to explain how to check if you actually have and if you haven't I'll explain why that is. But if this video does help out guys, feel free to drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton. Right now there's some pretty cool skins in there like the Halloween skins and of course the Super skins. So if you do pick them up guys, I'd appreciate it if you did use my code. But getting straight into the video to actually find the refund token section which and all of you actually don't know how to access this all you have to do is go on the lobby screen go to the top left corner click on the settings tab right there then go down to the bottom where you see the cog click on settings and then inside of the um, account and privacy tab right at the end there on the right you should see under account it says recent purchases and you should see a return or cancel purchase button go ahead and click on that and boom this is where you see if you've got a new refund ticket which i myself do last year i did not spend mine and by the way these do refresh every single year every 365 days so i myself have got my new one right here and i did only just get this on october the 12th so again Go on your PC right now or your console, wherever you play Fortnite on, and check to see if you've received yours because you should have. And if you have not received one and you have zero refund tickets, you can't get one till last year, the reason for why that is, is because you probably didn't take advantage of this when it was first introduced last year. If you remember guys, this system wasn't in the game that actually took it out, but after seeing how the old system worked, they sort of reworked it and added this new one in, and I myself was one of the many people that took advantage of it and basically got a extra refund ticket. If that makes sense but that's how you access it now you're probably wondering what the difference is between returning a purchase and cancelling a purchase and to find out that we've got to back out of this section hover over the recent purchases and you can see for a cancel purchase uh, this means that you may cancel any intentional purchase made with V-Bucks a cancel and purchase is available until you equip or use your purchase during gameplay. Only items purchased within the last 24 hours are eligible for a cancel purchase. So that's how a cancel purchase works. And for the return and purchases which you use a return ticket with, this states that in cases where you unintentionally purchase an item with V-Bucks and purchase cancellation is no longer available, you can use one of your free annual return tickets instead. You'll only receive one additional return ticket every 12 months or 360 days and you only get a maximum of three. Each ticket is added every 12 months following the most recent ticket you received and it says only items purchased within the last 30 days are eligible for returns. Consumable items such as battle pass, battle pass levels or llamas are not refundable. So basically a cancelled purchase is for purchases you've made in the last 24 hours and have not equipped them and then if you want to return a purchase, you can do it up to the last 30 days of the purchase. Even, I believe, if you've actually used it in-game. So that's essentially how it works. Guys, let me know if you recently received yours and let me know if you didn't. But I hope this video helped out. If it did, drop a like on it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.